clue who she was, but uh, yeah, she got in my car, and I didn't say a word, she didn't say a word really, but I could just see her in the rear view mirror, she was just, her hair was just kind of glistening every time the sun hit it, and she was just had this big old bright smile, it's just very hard not to look at her. So. So I kind of got the hint that he was crazy <laughs> and a little wild and I was not like that. You know, I was very goody two shoes. But when I saw him, he just had, he actually had the Justin Bieber hair that I loved. <laughs> Children. Kids. <laughs> Are we in a tornado? experienced firsthand what this feisty little redhead can do for people she loves, as I'm sure many of us in the room have. But I've only watched her love, patience, and happiness grow with Sam in her life, and I just, it's very special to watch you guys grow together. My biggest thank you goes to Sam's parents for raising an amazing person I get to call my best friend, um, that I've known for, you know, almost 14 years now, so. Taking on the last years of high school and graduating together was the only their first life experience together. But now you can add relocating to a new state, graduating, getting a job, moving into a new apartment, and then planning this banging wedding on top of all of it. And their life experiences together have only just begun. It's been a crazy 14 years um, from playing video games together. Um, getting pretty much high in any place possible. <laughs> I just want to say congratulations to Madison and Sam for finally getting married. <laughs> um, it's been a long time coming. I think we're all happy the day is finally here. It was definitely difficult to see my best friend move across the country, but I knew he was in good hands out here uh, with Madison's family and Madison, of course. <laughs> um, and thank you for giving Sam the love and ha appreciation that he deserves, seriously. Um, I couldn't think of a, a better person to be married, my best friend. Um, the way these two complement all the best parts of each other is the reason that they have and will continue to stand the test of time. Something that I do for my family, the women in my family, I like to give them something to let them know that I love them and I cherish them. And I have something that's a family treat which is what Madison has. What this symbolizes is wherever you go, there you are. No, you're never alone, not by far. Though this necklace is a simple tree, the meaning, like its roots, runs oh so deep. Regardless of distance, stubbornness, or indifference, nothing will uproot or deforest you from my family's existence. You are the warmth in my heart, why it pulsates so just right. There is no life without love, and family is the love of my life. Whether by blood, by marriage, friendship, or chance, you are my family, why this very tree stands. For you, I am not fair weathered, and much is the reason I give you this tree, which withstands every season. I won't love you on occasion, every now and then, I love you now and forever, through thick and thin. No mountain high, no valley low, I know how to swim, so let the river flow. To my family I've met and have not had the pleasure yet, my table's all inclusive and hope you like garlic bread. <laughs> no empty promises, every word is true because simply put, I friggin' love you. God's blessings are real and you're living proof, so let's break bread, drink wine, salute. Tell you when I, uh get a microphone really all I want to do is start rapping or tell some redneck jokes <laughs> I look at a wedding as like this is a ritual that we've been doing as humans for hundreds of thousands of years you know I think that's pretty cool that these traditions are continuing you know in our society You know, the wedding too, it just has to be between these two. We don't have to be here, right? They could have just gone off to Vegas, got married, 
all on their own because that's how they wanted to do it, right? Would have been a lot cheaper too. But, you know, but you, but you guys did want to have your friends and family here, right? To enjoy your time, your love for each other, because that's what we're celebrating. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. So really, on behalf of everybody, I hope, and myself, I want to say thank you for having us here and sharing your love. And, uh, you know, I love you guys. Cheers. Madison, I tried writing my vows with the, tradi the traditional I promise statements, but just something felt off. It was because I do not see my vows to you as promises, but more as privileges. I get to laugh with you. I get to cry with you. I get to share things with you, and I get to care for you. I get the amazing privilege to build and spend the rest of my life with you. Sam, I would say it's hard to believe we're here, standing, standing here today. But from the moment we met, I knew I couldn't let you go. Loving you is so easy, and it always has been. Even during our toughest days, we always end up in each other's arms. I love growing up with you, from hanging out in the halls before class, to graduating high school, taking you on your first flight to Disney World, <laughs> moving across the country, and starting our jobs, and every moment in between. It has all been so special. I know growing old together will be filled with more memorable adventures, heartfelt conversations, and infectious laughter. You love gently, yet fiercely. You're patient and level-headed, while I'm the hothead. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> You're a true gentleman, always trying to beat me to the door so you can open it for me. You let me be the passenger princess when I don't oh, yeah. want to drive, which is more often than not. You encourage my independence and individuality and consistently remind me that my flaws are your favorite parts. You are the cane that keeps me standing, the fuel that keeps me going, and the light that shows me the way. Today you and I become husband and wife, but I always felt as though we have been soulmates forever. I love you more than words can describe, Madison, and I cannot wait to get this next chapter of our life started. <laughs> in a room full of people, I'll always look for you, and in every lifetime, I'll always be your boo. I look forward to our life together, where we'll see the world, raise an army of redheads, and adopt a bunch of dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you for making my life complete, Sam. I love you. The state of Colorado, I pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> you may kiss your bride. <laughs>